What I have here are uh, two CV type carburetors used on a uh, 85 Honda Shadow. Uh, CV stands for constant velocity and uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to disassemble these carburetors. CV carburetors are a uh, variable venturi type carburetor just like the uh, mechanically operated slide carbs but with a CV carburetor what makes the slide move up is a difference in air pressure between the inside of the the carburetor and the outside um, atmospheric pressure so uh, basically a vacuum makes the slide move up and a spring forces it back down uh, your throttle cable operates these butterflies which controls how much air your engine receives and what makes these carburetors so good is they're just more efficient than the mechanically operated slide carbs and um, they just seem to react better to the needs of the engine so that's why they're they're used on all the most of the street bikes that they used to be before they started to use um, fuel injection. Before you uh, start to disassemble the carburetors, um, make sure that you don't mix up the parts because it's not uncommon for, for one carb to um, use a different jet than the other. So just keep, keep the parts separate. First thing I'm going to do to disassemble this is um, remove this cover for the diaphragm used on the, um, the slide. Once you get the cover removed, there's a spring. Take that out. And then there's a diaphragm here that um, is connected to your slide. You can just pull everything out. You want to check your diaphragm on these slides and make sure there's no cracks or breaks. Um, if there is, and they need to be replaced. Next thing I'm going to remove is the float bowl. Uh, it's held on by four screws, so remove the four screws. Sometimes the uh, float bowl is hard to get off. Um, if, if you find that on yours, uh, you can just take the end of your screwdriver and lightly tap it till it breaks free. And then uh, remove the float bowl and check your gasket or um, this is like an O-ring used to seal the float bowl to the car body. Just look for any cracks or breaks and if you find that then you need to replace it. Next remove the uh, float um, float pin and um, a float valve or, or sometimes, they, sometimes they call it a fuel inlet uh, needle but this is your yeah, a screwdriver. Your, that's your float pin your float and connected to the float is that um, float valve or inlet fuel valve which is right there. You want to check the end of this for it should be a, a smooth line, smooth cone with no indentations or, or damage. Set that aside. You can check your float, you can shake it and listen for any fuel inside of the float. There shouldn't be any so check that. Next thing I'm going to remove is the main jet which is right here. This is my pilot jet and this is my um, fuel inlet needle uh, seat here. I'm probably going to remove that too but uh, next thing to remove is the main jet. For that you need a 7 millimeter socket. set that aside and then I'm going to remove my pilot jet which is 
right there. Oops. I'm gonna be careful with these these jets because they're they're brass. You don't want to over tighten things or. And that's my uh, pilot jet. Set that aside. Next, I'm gonna remove this uh, float valve seat, which is right here. You need a 10 millimeter socket to get it off. And uh, underneath this um, seat is a miniature screen filter which you can inspect um, check for any breaks in the screen check if it's dirty because you can clean it and then uh, set this stuff aside the next and last thing I'm going to remove is the pilot adjustment screw which is uh, right here um, motorcycle manufacturers around this time were putting brass plugs on these screws so you couldn't adjust them and the reason they did that is because um, uh, for EPA reasons they wanted the bike to run lean so um, it would pass or meet um, EPA specifications but on this these carburetors I have here are the plugs been removed so if you have access to these screws then then remove them but uh, make sure you know how to adjust them before you remove them off the carburetor and there's the screw so that's pretty much it for the disassembly um, I'm gonna repeat the uh, same same thing on the other carburetor um, you can also uh, disassemble the two carburetors so they're not connected but you're going to have to deal with these linkages and it's it's not recommended that you take them apart um, because there's a lot of little springs and and stuff that can get lost and it's kind of hard to get them back together um, but the carburetors are held together by a screw on each side of the carburetors one there and then there's another one on the other side but uh, to clean the carburetors, uh, it's not necessary that you need to disassemble it so that the carburetors separate. So this is as far as I go, and um, that's what I'm going to do is, is uh, clean the carburetors and, and get them working properly again. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. I'll do my best to answer them, and uh, thanks for watching.